Are you tired of the same old subclass in Baldur's Gate 3 and want to mix it up a little, bringing even more creativity into your playthrough? I have the tool for you. Even you, Nixie and the Awful Ones. I, I, I mean the All for Ones. This is I'm a Dr. Nada, and today I'm announcing another update to my Baldur's Gate 3 modding program that automates the production of new subclass mods, Polymath. In a past video, I showed how the program automates all the non-creative parts of making a new subclass for an existing class mod. Today, the program evolves, and you can give your subclass up to three abilities out of the 1,465 abilities and spells in the game. At least 49 of which are fire-related, feisty tieflings, or fire lizards. Which I say like that because we all know what would happen if I said an actual Pokemon name and tried to monetize this video later, or showed an app of Tim Cook Dirge. So like and subscribe to see how things worked out after dropping that in the first 30 seconds and eventually try to monetize this video once I reach a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So let's go over how to install this program which I'm going to do while naming every fire-related ability. Polymath has been updated, so now you can give your subclass some abilities, like Dipped Fire or Firebolt. Neither can be cast by Pokemon, making D&D better by technicality. Besides downloading the program from Nexus Mods, with the link in the video description, which you can do again because it's not Firebolt, no recharge, you need to install Python, which is a computer programming language, like getting a chromatic orb. Well, Python works on a Mac. Timmy from Apple sadly doesn't want you to mod on it and can't run the exe files required. To install Python, you can do this through the Microsoft Store, i.e. the Firebolt Goblins. You then need to install a few packages that I employed for the coding to make it more efficient. To do this, open a command line and install the following packages shown on the screen by using the command also shown on the screen. Sadly, Pip Fireball doesn't compute. Neither does Pip Electric Mouse. Next, you make your custom subclass using the app, which you can launch by double-clicking on the polymath.bat file, like a wand capable of launching a fireball. Set up the general parameters, which I covered in the prior video, which is listed in the video description and should be shown at the top of the screen. So naturally, name it Nixie and make it based off of the sorcerer class following a wild magic subclass. In future videos and versions of the program, I'll cover how to add items, like weapons, items, or scrolls that can help you cast Fireball. Stay tuned until the end of the video to hear what's coming with the next release. Now we get to the exciting part which is adding spells. To make this possible, I logged all the information for every ability and spell that was available in the share.pack game file, excluding passives for now, into a table, including the lovely Glyph of Warding Fire Trap spell. On the Spells tab, you can select up to three spells, a number that I chose for balance but can be changed, that will be added to your subclass on character creation, like Arrow of Fire or Arrow of Fire Burning. It doesn't add the matching ability spell points just yet, so you may initially need a spellcaster class, like the Apple Genius class, to cast Fireball Trap, normal, easy, or hard. Your mod will be made automatically with minimal effort. You can then edit it much more easily and then repack it using my prior guide on building your mods, which is also in the video description. So if I wanted to make Nixie from Deerstalker Pictures one for all D&D videos, which are linked in the video description and I recommend checking out because they produce decently good content, pick three fire related spells like Fireworks Box or Fireworks Rocket, then click Make Mod back on the General tab, then drag the pack file into Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager, launch the game, and blow up the Nautiloid even better than those dragons, using Coal Basket Explosion No Fire, while debuffing Mind Flayers using Potion Destroy Fire Resistance. Want to understand how this works so you can further customize your mods? So you can drop the mic, or the chandelier, or hanging bowls, or 
Bay and Incense Burner, Fire Traps on your friends. This is fortunately super easy. Adding existing spells only takes two additional steps. Making a custom spell list, like picking six monsters that you want to hang out with you, which could include Arrow of Fire, Fire Bolt, or Fireworks Trap and then linking your subclass to this spell list in the progressions file. When you click Make Mod, the program first sees the spells that you selected in, from the spell list, like Dip Fire, Protection from Energy Fire, which correspond to spells in the entry column in the Spell Table Excel file that I include with the tool. It then goes into the template folder at public slash template slash list, and then it edits the spell list.lsx file, placing your selected spell or spells into the spells attribute field like Exhale Fire or Glyph of Warding Fire, giving this list a unique UUID. Next, it edits the subclasses selector field in the progression file, giving it these abilities by adding the following command shown on this screen, ensuring that your subclass can cast Fairy Fire, maybe through Drow Magic or also casting Method Fire Breath. And that's it. Now, Custom Spells. You can follow the template in my Pigpen subclass video, linked in the video description. Copy the file at the following path, and then paste it into your own mod folder at roughly the same path. Then you paste in the table entries that you want for your subclass. So if you want a custom ability to require a level 2 spell slot, like Fairy Fire Upcast to use a level 2 spell slot, or Druid, Apple form, paste entries verbatim from the use cost column from the spell tables Excel file directly into your spell file at the mentioned path. I recommend following my template to start so you can enter the following that's shown on the screen, including the quotations. Have questions? Let me know and I'm happy to help. Unless, of course, you're Team Rocket, in which case, Alchemist Fire! I made Polymath to help others with the tedium of modding, which is coding so you can make fireworks of mods, not fireworks rocket B traps. Polymath 0.3 brings you all even closer to a fully automated modding program, allowing you to make your mod even more unique. Total grenade fire without the extra effort of coding everything and using multiple programs. Try it out, experiment, and tell me what you make in the video comments. No need to make it fire-themed either. Though if you don't, Mixie will be sad, along with Timmy. The next release will bring custom action resource points, followed by custom items and equipment. And if you found this video helpful, Please like and subscribe and leave a donation on my coffee account. It helps my channel out and it makes these videos possible. Thanks for watching and Starship out. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble.